today we're going to talk about how rural environment can create value and taking our example there in a study visit of a virtual study visit of Pumacle Bazancourt in France. Uh, the, the session has, this cycle has been, uh, well, first of all, what we do in Robismo is we've been studying three sectors and we've tried to do some analysis of these sectors and the, and the businesses there to find how we can, uh, how we can design um, or how business models can be designed for improvement of rural businesses. And we also do some capacity building of entrepreneurs and intermediaries in this project. Um, and today, well, actually this last cycle, we had three um, cafes with different themes. And today our virtual visit is going to be, as we said, to this agro-industrial research hub. And um, Apolline, uh, you have some guests with you today. Please, the floor is all yours. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, so we have two guests today. We have uh, Michel Mangion, uh, who is uh, responsible of the CSR in a company that was like at the origin of uh, the Pomac Benzoncourt Bioraffinery. And we also have uh, Florent Allais, who is a researcher in bioeconomy in the Pomac Benzoncourt Bioraffinery also. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, maybe if you if you put your mic on, you will say hello and everyone. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, so I will run the video of uh, the virtual visit of Pomac Bazancourt, and then you will be able to ask whatever you want to Florent and uh, and Michel. Yeah, you please uh, start writing your questions during the video in the chat. Uh, so then we can pick up the questions from there. Yes. Great. So here we go. Bonjour à tous, welcome to you all, welcome to the Bazancourt Pomac Biorefinery. My name is Michel Mangion, I am in charge of the corporate social responsibility of the Cooperative Crystal Union, which is the second sugar producer in France. I also represent the companies located on this site within the industry territory defined by the perimeter of the biorefinery, that is more than 260 hectares. The site of Bazancourt Pomac is an integrated biorefinery located near Reims in the Grand Est region, in the former Champagne Ardennes region. This rural biorefinery, also called territorial refinery, provides food and feed, fuel and chemicals from locally grown biomass such as sugar beet wheat, alfalfa, and wood. This biorefinery highlights the potential of the industrial bioeconomy to substitute fossil fuel, such as coal, oil, or natural gas, with renewable biomass-based fuel. The industry territories have been recently labeled by the French government to stimulate the interaction among companies and between industries and local administrations in order to foster synergies. And I co-chair this new dynamic for this biorefinery with the president of the Grand Reims area, Mrs. Catherine Vautrin, in connection with the Grand Est region. We are here on the premise of the Cristanol distillery a bioethanol plant that was built in 2006 in the frame of the French biofuel program. As a particularity, this plant processes both sugar beet juice and wheat 
into two separated production lines. Now we'll go to the top of the wheat mill in order to get a nice overview of the whole refinery. Approximately 40 meters high on the top of the roof of the dry mill of Bristol. In the back over there, we can see the famous Cathedral of Reims when the weather is clear, like today. The history of this site started in 1963 with an initiative of a few farmers who decided to buy an evil and bankrupt distillery and turn it into a sugar factory. Actually, the Bazancourt Pomac biorefinery is the result of 70 years of continuing initiatives, mainly led by farmers until recent years. Since about 10 years, new companies and research organizations have joined the adventure. All around us, you can see the countryside and fields everywhere. The fields of the region have become productive relatively recent. This part of the Champagne area was originally a poor area due to the geological features, mainly chalky soils. Today, it is considered to be well advanced thanks to the determination of men, their ability to put technological advances into practice and to work together to adapt to changes in the environment. It is still the case nowadays with current constraints. The Bazancourt Pomac site employs nearly 1,200 employees, permanent and seasonal staff, and involves approximately 800 indirect jobs. It operates 24 7 days and transports 4 million tons of different types of biomass. Let's have a look at the site now. So let's start with the bioethanol distillery of Cristanol. First of all, the wheat line, and second, the sugar beet line directly connected with the sugar factory. Some specificities of this site, the carbon dioxide produced during fermentation is captured, purified and valorized. Steam is partly supplied by a wood biomass boiler and effluents are digested to produce methane gas which is burnt on site to dry DDGS. Next to the distillery there is the sugar factory actually the cornerstone of the whole site. During a crop campaign, 25,000 tons of beets are processed every day. Out of three sugar beets processed, one will produce sugar, one will produce ethanol, and one is stored as a syrup to be processed later in the year to produce bioethanol. At the end of the factory, of the sugar factory over there, there is a blind building that is where the conditioned sugar is stored. Next door, after the sugar plant, there is the starch factory, which was built in 1992. At the beginning, this plant was owned by the cooperatives and it has been recently sold to ADM, a major US company operating mainly in the field of cereals. In terms of synergies, ADM and Crystal Union exchange steam and ADM sends its byproducts to Cristanol to be fermented into bioethanol and thus valorized. Close to ADM, on the left hand side, there is the ARD Research Center, namely Agro Industry Research and Development, with its demo plant 
that will be presented in more details later in the visit. And in the back, where you can see a yellow building, there is a combined hidden power system designed to produce black pellets via steam cracking. It is the most recently implemented company. Next to this plant on the far left of the, of the site, there is the Givaudan, uh, another world class company that produces bio based cosmetics ingredients on site. And in 2014, Givaudan bought a company called Soliance, initially created by ARD more than 20 years ago. And among the main products we can mention, for instance, hyaluronic acid. And just close to this Givaudan site, on the far end of the site, there is the CEBB, the European Centre for Biotechnology and Bioeconomy, that hosts labs and academic research units. And Professor Allais will explain to you later in the visit the different research areas covered. And finally, on the same corner of the site, there is the pilot factory, a premise owned by ARD, initially built in 2012 to host the Future Hall project. Let's end now by going down and join our colleagues for continuing the visit. introduce you to Professor Florent Allais, who is the head of the CEBB, and he will continue the visit with you. Thank you, Michel. So, let's go for the visit. So, the CEBB, that stands for European Centre of Biotechnology and Bioeconomy, is a multidisciplinary research centre located at the heart of the Pomac Vazanco Biorefinery. Its ambition is to enhance the value of the local biomass, but also the byproducts of the industries. To achieve this goal, this ambition, we can count on four different assets. The first one, the proximity of industries that allow us to identify the bottlenecks that they face and to propose projects that can uh, answer these problems. We can also uh, fed up the research and the teaching for the, local, for the students of the local universities and uh, teaching institutions. The second asset is the complementarity expertise, both in the scientific and technological aspects of the four shares that constitute the CBB, with expertise in green chemistry, biomaterials, downstream processing, uh, modeling, markets, as well as multi scale modeling and studies. The third asset is a technological hall where we stand right now, and also a chemistry scale up zone that allow us to go from the proof of concept validated as a bench scale to the pilot, also the pilot scale, and further toward the industry. The fourth and last asset is a complete shared analytical platform that allows us to uh, characterize the molecules and the biomaterial that we can produce at the CBB using uh, NMR technology, liquid chromatography, gas chromatography, as well as thermal analysis confocal microscopy and image. With all these four assets and through our activities, the CBB ensures a pool of potential of innovation that can be industrialized at the site level or even beyond.
Machine. Chimia. Ethical. Innovation. Navinata. Innovation. Ethical. Chongxin. Mukoyi. Ethical. Hi, I'm Jean-Christophe Duval. I'm the CEO of ARD in France, near Reims in Pomacle. ARD has been created 30 years ago by the cooperative uh, of the region, the cereal and sugar cooperative, to create added value on top of the crops and the production of the farmers. About more than 10,000 farmers are the owners of ARD. ARD today is a biotechnology services and manufacturing organization from the research organization to scale up organization and to manufacturing organization. We are about today 110 people working for ARD and we serve customers all over the world, especially in the US and Europe. ARD comprises uh, 110 people, I said, and about a sales turnover of 17 million euros, uh, which is mainly uh, for about uh, 14 million euros uh, ARD and is, is subsid subsidiary Wit Oleo, 100% owned by ARD called Wit Oleo, a producer of biosourced surfactants, which is a kind of newly startup company uh, created by ARD from Innovation, which is now selling about 3 million euro sales, over, sales uh, turnover uh, per, per year with 14 people from sales production innovation. We belong to uh, Vivesia. Vivesia is uh, the cereal cooperative. So Vivesia industry is the industrial part of the cooperative Vivesia for 70% uh, and for about 20%, 18 exactly, Crystal Union, uh, Sugar Beet Cooperative uh, and uh, Agro-Industrial Group is also the owner of ARD, plus additional smaller cooperative and a bank cooperative as well. We aim to develop our company in the location of the biorefinery platform of Pomac Bassancourt. Thank you, have a good day. Chivolan has been established within the Pomac Le Bazancourt Biorefinery since 2014, following the acquisition of Soliance created in the early 90s with the desire to valorize byproducts and co-products resulting from the sugar manufacturing processes. Givolan is the world leader in the creation of fragrances and flavors. Givolan's cosmetic activity, called Active Beauty, is based on various pillars such as marine biotechnology, culture of algae, white biotechnology, fermentation and biotransformation, plant extraction. This goes from research to the production of finished products, including formulation, evaluation and process development. The Pomacle Bazanco site, which accommodates around 160 people, is the center of excellence for white biotechnology. Many flows or synergies exist between the different players in the biorefinery. Supply of energy, purchase of raw materials, recovery of gas from the processes, upgrading of effluents by irrigation and fertilization, joint research activities, upcycling, etc. For example, at Givaudan, we use around 300 tons of glucose per year as a nutrient in our fermentation processes. These 300 tons come from processes of co-valorization of wheat or upcycled gluten. Overall, this represents around 100 hectares of wheat crop preserved for the food industry. With a product portfolio of approximately 200 ingredients, the Pomarc Givaudan site is a leader in the hyaluronic acid family, moisturizing and anti-aging product, 
and in DHL, which is dihydroxyacetone, which is a self-tanning agent. These products are marketed all over the world, both with major players in the cosmetic industry or with local customers. case of Bazancourt Promac, international perspectives are promising, with four local but world-scale events that took place during the last five years. First, the acquisition of the active cosmetic ingredients producer by Givaudan, a Swiss manufacturer of flavors, fragrances and active cosmetic ingredients. Second, the acquisition of the starch and glucose plant by a major American group, ADM, Third, the ability of Biodemo Demonstrator, ARD, to attract some of the world's most promising startups. And finally, the place of academic research which attracts international profile and develops projects with labs and companies located all around the world. So we are glad to have you visited the biorefinery and we are open to your questions. Thank you very much.